cheese roll dogs or cheesy dogs, however you want to call it. Today we are going to make this amazingly delicious cook. And if you want to see our take on these cheese rolled hot dogs, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. Nope. We'd love to have you along on this journey of ours, yep. which is cooking and just shenaniganizing. Hey, where's that word it's been? been a minute. It's been a minute or seven. <laughs> but today we've got a fun one. I've seen it all over Facebook. I've seen a lot of dudes throw this down and I wanted to finally give our take on this. Now this isn't something we've ever done. So once again, we've got a Wall Twins first right here for you. These are, we're using these jumbo, oh, what am I doing? I'm sorry for stepping on your toes, Brett. Let's talk about the groceries. Thanks, Adam. All right, so here we go. The star of the show are these jumbo Nathan's restaurant style beef franks. Absolutely love these things. They're a little larger than your everyday Nathan's hot dogs. We are using ketchup and mustard as together. We're gonna mix it into what is this pink sauce, as they call it in some Latin countries. But he and where we grew up, we called it fry sauce. I know there's one company that calls them mayo chip. Boy, are they wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna put it on this uh, Colby Jack cheese, and then we're gonna use the skewers to hold them. We are using the skewers because we're doing these almost shishka dog style, like yep. when we grew up with the cheese and the hot dog and the cheese and the hot dog at the corn dog factory, right? Yep. We used to love those things. So these don't have the breading on the outside, but we definitely are going to be tossing the skewers. Uh, on these more like corn dog style, wrap yep. these up. We aren't going to be putting them in buns or anything, but it's going to be delicious. And we're gonna dip it in the sauce after, and I can't wait for that. Yes. This is gonna go really fast. We're gonna skewer the dogs, and then we're gonna cook the hot dogs. We're gonna pull them off to the side, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap the cheese right on the griddle. Let it get nice and melty. We're gonna be using our putty knife that we got at the restaurant store. We were super excited to get these. We're gonna scrape these up and roll the cheese with the hot dogs. I can't wait to show this process. I know. Part of awesome. this is gonna be filming that process and getting to show as we roll. We use the putty knife and we roll. We've got it right now on medium low. This is closer to low than medium. This is really just a heating element today to heat the hot dogs, Yeah. heat the cheese, and then we'll get this build on. Let's go. All right, man, that thing is hot. Let's go ahead and get our hot dogs on there. We've got to get these skewers in. So we're gonna do it now. So this isn't gonna take long. We're just gonna give these a couple of flippity flops. And then as soon as they're warm, we're pulling them. Okay, these are just about done, bro. All right. We're starting to get a little blisterage. They're hot. That's all we want. All right, all we wanted to do was warm these up, get these up to temp, and Brett, those are hot. They're plump, ah. and those are ready to go, bro. So we're yep. just gonna pull these off to the side. Sweet. We'll do them one at a time. I've got your chest. Look, this is what I'm there talking about, go. bro. So it is about the cheddar. Look at that. And look at that cheese still like spew through. Dude, that is a good looking thing. Okay, well dog. I messed that up on the thing. Get me a tray. All right, so mid cook, we had to switch to the cheddar. We got the ultra thin slices, realized those were too thin. So we're using our shredded cheddar and the cheddar works fantastically. So, so a tip, always have cheddar on hand because you never know. <laughs> That's right. Look at that, just grab on and roll. Grab and roll. Grab. I'm kind of jealous that you get that job today, bro. Oh yeah, I'm jealous of myself.
man. Well, listen. Listen, Linda, it always seems that when we try things for the first time, it takes that first one that didn't work out. Hopefully you saw that. We had the wrong cheese. I saw the ultra thin slices. I was a little skeptical, so we doubled it up. Then I realized the Colby Jack is going to melt. It's just very creamy It's cheese. creamy. What we need is the cheddar. We need the integrity of the cheddar that's gonna cook and cook a little bit onto that uh, griddle surface to harden just a little Look bit. Look at that. And with those natural oils, it just really, really, Brent was like, wait, didn't you need to lay oil down? Nope, the cheddar's got the oil in it. But dude, these are amazing. Kenzie's already off the side devouring <laughs> what cheese <laughs> came off. That's awesome. Oh, that's a great. But Brent, I think these are ready to eat, man. Yes, they are. Like we say, these can look amazing. You I'm know, sorry, that looks amazing Like a cheese me. covered hat, though. Awesome. It's ugly and beautiful all at the same time. It can smell amazing. <sighs> Oh, it's the, the, the hot dog itself smelled amazing. And then that cheddar, that's all I'm smelling. Yes. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all, all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. So are we dipping the uh, sauce right in here first? Mm. Oh, um, oh my God. All that cheese. Now I know what all the rave was about with these. And the pictures and videos that I saw on Facebook, oh my God. people were dipping these in their favorite sauce. We've got this pink sauce, like Brett was saying. Fry sauce. That fry sauce, we're going, I'm going in. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Shut up. You know how I made this? Ketchup, mayonnaise, pickle juice. Pickle oh. juice. Now here's oh. the deal, let me ask you. Would you put this on a bun or just eat it like this? Just, well, just like this is great, man. Here's Ke the deal. It's keto friendly. I have to stop. We made a fourth one that we had. What did we do with that fourth one? So our first one, this is what we're talking about. So I don't know if you can see it. The cheese just was too melty, too creamy. It just fell off. But that's still a good looking one. That's for somebody else. I'm trying to stop so I can share this with the kiddos, with the family, uh, because they've got to try this. This is this one is of the amazing. ones that I'm so excited about. <laughs> oh, my mouth just wants more. I know. Here's the deal. This might be one of my, oh, my top like surprising cooks. <laughs> I wanted to do this because I just thought it'd be fun. Yeah. I'm I'm stunned. I am stunned with how good that. The is. process looked fun. Well, Adam oh, was like it was... scraping and rolling. The way the cheese just uh, cooperated, it was great. And when I saw people doing this, I thought, man, how can you keep rolling and going? Once you get going, you do see it does catch a little bit, but it just takes some getting used to. You're rolling, you scrape together, and it just pulls up and you turn, and that just worked out perfect. I just want to keep eating. That's all I know. I, say. I know that's great. But before we head out though and wrap this up, Brett, we do have a Patreon page. Yep. And if you're interested in supporting the Wall Twins and what we do, that is one more way in which you can do so. Yep, it is a multi-tier type system where you have a little more access to us. We have some behind the scenes footage, some blooper reels, and uh, our recipes. And you get discounts on merchandise, and there's even a level where you get your choice of apron as we do have more options available. So, Absolutely, and so, we can't, can't wait for you guys to check that out. Yep. Link uh, below. Link below, and thank you to our Patreons who continue to support us. Thank you for believing in us and believing what we do. But Brett, aside from coming to make these amazing Stupid. cheesy dogs or cheese wrapped hot dogs, yes. however you want to cheese call it. Cheese on a stick, hot cheese dog on a stick. stick. For reals. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.